So, it's been almost a week, and we've managed to empty, well, almost empty our keg. This is gonna be one of the last glasses of beer that we are able to get off of this keg. Uh, I think what we're gonna do is, every time we get a new keg, we're gonna try and do a live stream, which we're gonna have to get a laptop before we do any more live streams, but if you'd like to donate, feel free to do that. We have a GoFundMe in the, in the description of the video. I'm gonna pour a special K this beer because this might be the last one. It's been kind of sluggish. Yeah. We might be able to get a couple might, more. Might be able to get one or two more out of there. But that's really sluggish for a keg. We might need to amp up the pressure to get a, uh, a decent pour out of this. And like I say, we're, we're just, we're learning about doing a, a kegerator. We don't have anyone who knows anything about kegerators on the show. So here is your beer, good cameraman. Now transition, do the transition dance. What's the transition dance? Just dance. Perfect. All right, we have uh, warped to the bar. Thanks to the uh, power of uh, transitioning. The transition dance. Yeah. So, um, yeah, our keg is almost empty. I'd say we, we probably have maybe, if we're lucky, like three or four more beers out of it. Yeah, I, I really did think that that was going to be the last one. Because we we just got a dribble out of it. Yeah, I mean, we uh, during the live stream, we had to take out half of it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, how many people were here for that? That was... That's like seven or eight people. Like seven or eight people, yeah. I had at least... I had two or three, three or four. I had a number of beers. It's like... And a, that little third of a keg thing we've got is good for about 50 beers? 55. It's a, it's a sixth. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a sixth of a keg? Yeah. Man, kegs are way bigger than I think. Yeah. Kegs, uh, like a full keg is like 300 beers or something. One day. No. no. <laughs> um, so, part three, this <clears throat> might be our last one, at least for the first part of the series. We'll probably mm -hmm. do a second one. Um, so, we had Sweet Baby Jesus. We're actually going to review this beer right now, and then we're going to talk about what we're going to do um, with it in the future. So, well, let's in review In the future, it. I'm going to drink this. So, this is Sweet Baby Jesus. It's a peanut butter porter. Uh, it's dark Coca-Cola colored. You know what? Coca-Cola... You know what? I think... You can Probably. see through Coca-Cola better yeah. than this. Probably a little bit. It's like it's like double cola. Like if you had Coca-Cola that was twice as dark as it is. Sorry, I just drank it. Yeah, you went out of order. What's the matter with you? Not like we haven't been drinking this all day. Um, you just get a faint peanut butter. Uh, There's a little bit of peanut butter and chocolate. Mm-hmm. Little tiny hint of coffee. As we said on the last room, it's like covering still reserve and, and peanut butter and chocolate. Why? <laughs> That's a terrible idea. We should never do that. <laughs> Stay uh, tuned for our hundred thousand subscribers. We'll be covered still reserve and peanut butter and chocolate. <laughs> you can't promise these things. <laughs> I'm sure he'll agree to it. He'll be delicious. He'll love it. Maybe some vanilla. I mean, I, I like peanut butter as, the as much as the next guy. You'd have to like peanut butter a lot to let somebody do that to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, so the beer itself, uh, head is like a khaki. We've had like 20 of these. We should be professional mm, on at this point. Yeah. No, I think I have the, the flavor profile pretty much knocked out. <laughs> Let's see what you got. Okay, so the first thing you get is just a, a whisper of coffee. Mm -hmm. It's fairly thin for uh, for a porter. You just get this whisper of coffee, which is followed by peanut butter and then chocolate. And the peanut butter and chocolate stays around for longer than the coffee, so the ending is fairly sweet. Oh, it also leaves a uh, roasted malt flavor in the back, yeah. back of your it's, mouth. It's very roasty at the end, but not in a coffee way. Yeah, in a, in a beer, in a stout way. You're welcome. This is... This is the intense, uh, the intense reviews that we've been doing over the last two weeks. So one thing I will say is this beer, um, this beer in bottle form is much stronger. Mm -hmm. um, being in draft, uh, with any draft beers, they they, they they are a little bit more water, watery. Mm. But again, that's because they're not pasteurized. I think it's a little bit more acidic tasting yeah. in a bottle. They're not pasteurized, so when they pasteurize them, they're 
boiling the beer in the bottle. Mm -hmm. So that makes sense why it might taste a little bit different. And most beer companies, you don't necessarily have to pasteurize the beer. 99% of them most do. Most companies do it because they want to avoid any possible legal trouble they could get into for not pasteurizing their beer. So they just go ahead and do it. They know that a keg, once it's tapped, has to be consumed. So they're not super worried about that. And the keg is a sealed system. Mm -hmm. so yeah, it goes basically from the ton to the keg. Yeah. But with bottles, like you said, you got to worry about uh, who's getting the bottles, who's drinking the beer, and yeah. who, where, how it's getting handled. There's a lot more worry that goes into bottling stuff than kegging stuff. Which that, that's for another that's for another beer one on one, right? That should be a beer one on one. That's a good idea. We did do a draft versus did we did we do a draft versus ah, maybe we have so many videos. You know we I can't could remember. do a lot we could do some really cool draft versus standard now that we have the kegerator. Yeah uh, if we can keep beer in there long enough. I think we can keep beer in there long I don't, enough. I don't think we can. Because <laughs> the show's ran by a bunch of alcoholics, apparently. So um, I feel like I feel like one day I'm going to come in here and I'm, I'm like, I hear noise. I'm going to like Mingo, like, just sucking on it. Sucking He's going to have his mouth turned up. How did you even get in my house? There's just like a little mouse hole in the corner he crawled in through. Like, um, he ate his way through your garage door. So back back on the beer, um, it's really, really good in draft. Like I said, it's it's... A little bit watery, but that makes it more drinkable. Mm -hmm. um, easy going. Uh, it's a solid eight. Oh, it's definitely... Mm, I, I, you know, I don't know. See, the, the thing is, when you get it in keg form, it's much cheaper than when you get it in mm -hmm. uh, cans and bottles. It like, saves you roughly about $2 per six pack. It saves you in keg form. Yeah. Think about getting 50... Think about getting 50 bottles of Sweet Baby Jesus. Yeah, and six packs it would cost now you. Now think about you crying because you have no more money. Right. <laughs> so I, I think I have to have to rate this an eight and a half, at the very least. Uh, it's a very good beer, and in keg form, it's so much cheaper. Like that's gonna that's gonna matter a little bit less when we start getting cheaper beers, but in this case, that definitely had something to do with it being. Uh, having that extra half point. Absolutely. Uh, do I recommend this in draft form? Absolutely. If you have a place that sells Sweet Baby Jesus in draft, I highly recommend trying it. Ducal makes some great beers. Mm -hmm. uh, haven't had too many bad ones from them. Um, they have a bunch of other variants of the Sweet Baby Jesus too that are pretty solid. Um, any of those are good. Um, <laughs> they do have a lot of beers that are named Jesus. Yeah. And all right, so what do we have planned for the kegerator in the future? Um, lots of things. We want to get... put another keg in it. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> we don't know exactly what we're going to get. We'd like to get something uh, that's not $100 mm -hmm. for a 1.6. Definitely, definitely go with a cheaper beer. This I know was... uh, one sixth of Amberbach is like $54. That's not bad. You can, for, uh, for, <laughs> you can get a... You can get a half of Amber Rock for like 109. And I mean, now that we have the deposit on the keg, we can just recycle that mm -hmm. deposit. So that's 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 no longer a cost. Yeah, yeah. Unless we destroy a keg, in which case. <laughs> so we are we are toying with the idea. Um, literally, when I'm changing, uh, rehitting the start button on the on the camera, <laughs> we're toying with the idea of doing a live uh, stream at. Like the party, like not the party source. Well, the party source would be way cooler, but that's too far. We could, we, yeah, we could. Hmm. It would be really they would cool let us, to do a live because they would let us do source. it there. Yeah. Versus going to Total Wine and just See, doing Total it. Total Wine is just down the road. That's the only thing. Yeah. Uh, it would be really cool to do. We should do one at the party source. Yeah. So it'll be at the party source of Total Wine probably, but we're gonna go get another keg. Mm hmm. Um. Let you folks vote on yeah. what keg so we get. So maybe, uh, again, it'll be like maybe a 20-minute live stream, maybe on the phone or something. Or maybe we'll just do like uh, maybe a Facebook Live or something. Anyway, yeah, short we'll do that. live video and have you guys vote. Uh, we'll, we'll wait an hour, have everybody vote, and then we'll go with whatever, whatever I could spend an hour perusing a liquor store. Right. Uh, that's one idea. Or we could do it a little bit differently. Uh, we could do a poll on YouTube, which those mm -hmm. always do really mm -hmm. well. We could pick our top five picks and then have everybody vote on it and then pick it up that way. All of us could just pick one. Which, that yeah. The, the voting thing might happen. Well, mm -hmm. if everybody picks, yeah, one of their favorites, what? We're going to battle for it? I was just thinking about the, uh, the, uh, 
the vote off that we were talking about on the live stream, where we have like a, like a presidential race of beers. That could be entertaining. I think I would enjoy that. <laughs> what, what beer is a Democrat and what, what beer is a Republican? Ah, uh, that's hard to, that, you know what? <laughs> I feel like that's a video all by itself. Where's our liberal beer? Our liberal beer is, is it's gotta be, it's gotta be, uh, now that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> that's gonna have to be a video all by itself. I have to think about that one for a minute. Hmm. You know, I think Budweiser. I think Budweiser is the uh, the conservative. If we're gonna have four, well, I know Mingo is gonna be the communist beer. Communist beer. <laughs> that's uh, that's actually just a glass of air. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, we're getting we're getting down thumbs for this. <laughs> Alrighty then. So that's gonna be a different video. <laughs> um, yeah, we wanna uh, maybe at some point uh, I might try to get like a dual tapper. You know, we could fit... Um, they make them to where they'll take two one six. Yeah, um, well, that thing would fit two one six. Yeah, but you have to put a secondary tap arm on it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how that would work. We'd have to run our own line. Yeah. There's plenty of space. We could have converted the old refrigerator if we really thin frisky, but actually, it would have cost us like $300 to buy the kit versus just buying an actual keg rater for mm -hmm. like $100, so it was cheaper that way. That would be an interesting uh, weekend project. I think we could probably... Convert that you, because you it's get, got, you know what it's got two it's got two uh, gas cylinder holders. You're getting you're getting ahead of yourself. You're getting ahead of yourself here. You're getting ahead of yourself. You're the one who suggested it. One keg at a time. All right. Yeah. One keg at a time. Two kegs at a time. Special K. All right. These kegs are expensive. I can't just go around buying kegs all the time. <laughs> um, but they are they are a little on the pricey side. Uh, the kegs are. But uh, what little money we do get from YouTube. Uh, I have been putting aside so we can get a keg. It's almost enough to buy a keg now. Mm, really? Um, yeah. We can almost buy a keg with a use, but then we'll wait, wait, wait. Buy... No, a keg. Are we talking about a keg of more baby Jesus? Or are we talking about a keg of like? Uh, uh, it's against the, the guidelines for us to say a specific number uh, on money. Okay. But I will say, uh, sweet baby Jesus ish. Yeah, that's that's actually not bad. Ish. I'm so, I'm impressed. Which is pretty good. Um, but then again, we won't have any money to buy, you know, beers to review. So, oh, that's okay. We have that whole refrigerator there, yeah. right? So we can uh, make that last. Let us know in the comments <laughs> what you guys want to see. Um, if you guys want to see us do like a, a uh, vote um, via our YouTube polls, or would you like to do a sort of like a maybe a live stream thing? Like I said, it wouldn't be a full live stream because we're down equipment right now. It would be like a fifteen or twenty I mean, minute. Uh, we can use a we can use a phone to do kind of a. Like yeah, an impromptu kind 20. of an AI live stream. Yeah, like a twenty you minute that. impromptu one. If they hopefully they have Wi Fi or something. Yeah, um, it's too bad you can't connect that webcam you have that we've been using for the regular live streams to your phone. Yeah, my phone is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see Anyways. Yeah. So yeah, just let us know in the comments what you like below. Also, if you want to help us get a new laptop for our future live streams, oh, yeah, that. Uh, we do have a GoFundMe. Uh, the, the link will be in the description down below. Now, as always, uh, we know that not everybody can give money, and that's fine. You can mm -hmm. always go through our videos, hit the like button, leave comments, share those videos, and that's a good way to support us as well. One of the best ways, as a matter of fact. Especially leaving comments. I enjoy le I enjoy reading the comments. Yeah, I, I try to make great. I read all the comments, so. It's hard. Uh, mostly for comments, me and Radar, a lot of people ask this, not that everybody's going to watch this video, but me and Radar answer majority of the comments. Um, if somebody asks a question specific to Steel, like it's specifically geared towards Steel, I would tell him and he generally will go check it out, mm -hmm. or Mingo or so on and so forth, but generally they don't check the comments regularly. I think Squash checks them pretty regularly too. I, I scroll through them. I usually go back about five videos and then I scroll through the comments we have. It's a it's a good it's a good way to spend a couple of minutes. But all right, yeah, that's been our episode. Don't forget to hit that like button. I'm Special K. I'm Radar. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.